what is going on ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another 90 day fiance video and this one right here is all about usman and kimberly in the most recent episode of happily ever after season 7 episode 11. but hey with that being said though let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel that is a member of patreon and that is a subscriber as we continue to grow now with that being said let's not waste any more time and get into this uh happy couple should i say <laughs> anyway let's continue the reality is that I will never disown my mom for any human being on this earth. I understand. Good. But I don't want to be the second wife. I know you don't want. We just left the meeting with Usman's mom and Farouk, his brother, and I think it went well. Then it gives me a little bit of hope. But now I'm worried because I didn't expect this meeting to end with his mom wanting Usman to meet somebody she wants to set him up with as a first wife. And I'm a little upset that he didn't insist that I become the first wife in this meeting. Like, I don't have to accept this. Babe, what if my mom said that I can move that on right now? Even? What if that is the final answer? Are I you don't know. Me? I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't even know what to say because like I'm in the middle. I want to please you, I want to please my mom. I feel like my mom has been convinced Kimberly truly loves me. But Kimberly doesn't really care about you pleasing your mom. Kimberly only cares about you pleasing her and making her, her making her number one priority. And well, like she said, you didn't defend her corner of insisting that she was wifey number one. <laughs> ah, stuck in a no, what's the, what's the phrase? Is it stuck in a rock? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's continue with this uh, shambolic relationship. But my mom is so worried about that Kimberly cannot give birth. So my mom wants me to go and meet a young lady that will be the first wife from my region. So I will go. I will see the lady according to what my mom said. And then later, I can also talk to my mom about how they can allow Kimbal and I to marry first. The second wife should come from my region later. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not very happy about you know you're going to meet this woman. I'm scared. It scares me. Like what if you meet this girl and you like her? Mm -hmm. Like I don't want you. It sounds so bad to have feelings for somebody else like you have for me. I mean, listen. Let's just put real. <laughs> uh, no one would want to be in this situation, right? But. Kimberly's come from a place of insecurities, you know, because she's put herself in a position where this was always going to happen. She's been knowing this since 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days, but this has been pending. So she's had time to, pre pre uh, to prep herself, but clearly she still keeps fighting the situation, fighting the reality of what's going to happen. And this is just a big sign of insecurities of her own. I mean, listen, an episode ago, Uzma was calling ugly. Then and then the following episode, she was talking about how I'm not ugly, da 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 da, I'm this, I'm that. So that energy of her have, have, having self-confidence in herself, where's it at? Then again, though, when your man has just told you you're ugly previously, <laughs> your self-confidence is going to be hard to build up again, to be fair with you, isn't it? Ah, it's a sticky one. It's not really a sticky one because you can just walk away, but it's a sticky one because she stays in the situation. But hey, let's continue. I'm scared that you're going to meet somebody that's younger than me, probably prettier than me, and, you know, you're going to have this connection with her, and then it's going to be like, okay, I'm still here. Okay, um, it will take a very long time for she doesn't want to be she doesn't want to become mary brown in a, in a nutshell <laughs> if you know you know i need to go with that woman and i won't have this connection and that is if i'm not in a relationship think about how far we've been coming think about how the kind of changes we pass through before we get to this place how do you think i'll just meet the lady because she's young or maybe she's beautiful then, it's not possible but i want you to understand something i am saying that we need to respect more right let me do what she's asking me to do Maybe if I let you go and do this and meet this woman with your mom, and then she, you know you could say like Kimberly wasn't happy about it, but Kimberly respects you. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like this is okay. You know, I get like it. She likes you for who you are. I, know. I think she's going to accept you. But like, okay, just do this for me now. So Kimberly wants to go on the date. <laughs> interesting. Or the meeting, shall I call it? Very interesting. Let me know that you have baby. I mean, let me know that you have wife. But then you're like, thinking about. It. Yes. Yeah. Do this for me as my son. All right. So, like, go meet this oh, girl, woman, or whatever she is. And go meet her, but I'm not happy about this at all. Like, I, it makes my skin crawl to think I, I'm that I'm in Nigeria and you're going to go meet some other woman. That just blows I, my mind. But, babe, but I get it. I understand it. Babe, I don't like it at all. Babe, I love you. I know. This trip has been a lot. If you don't mind, I want to talk to Jamal, like, in private. I need to, like, talk to somebody that, on my side. Oh, I mean, please. please. Of course, I want Usman's mom. I don't see the point of Kimberly ever talking to her son because she doesn't listen to anything that her son has to say anyway. So she can she can talk about she can talk to Jamal what she wants about anything that he says she's just going to ignore it and then say you know oh Jamal's opinion matters no it bloody doesn't if it did matter well then why have you why have you never actually made any action towards his opinion 
If I was Jamal, I'd be like, oh, is your mom's ringing again. Yeah, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> like legit, I ain't got time for this. I ain't li I ain't talking to you. <laughs> yeah, you you you're always gonna do what you wanna do, so I'm just gonna hang up the phone. <laughs> not, not even answer it. Just leave it ringing. But being the second wife is something I will not compromise on. But I'm hoping that me letting this man go to this meeting or this date or whatever it's called, it's just letting his mom know how much I love him, and she gives me the blessing to be the first wife. Mm. I love you. My dear. I love you. My dear. There's a fear in me that I could honestly lose Usman. I'm feeling really insecure right now because he's potentially going to go to this meet slash date and this could be his wife. Kim, you got this. You can do this. I need to do something big that he'll never forget just to prove my love to him and how much I love him. Wow. You know? <laughs> <sighs> Oh, so this is what we're doing now. Lord of mercy. I'm not religious, but I pray for you. Let's continue. So I'm going to propose to Usman tonight. And if this one doesn't fit, we have another. I'm shaking a little bit because it's just, this is a lot. For, this is a lot. Especially not even knowing if I have the blessing yet. This is a lot. So she's not going to speak to Jamal then. Oh, well, it saves him a phone call that's going to be pointless. A lot, but I feel like I need to pull out all the stops and really just show him like I am the one, you know? Tomorrow, Usman is going to this meeting to meet a young lady that could potentially be his second wife. I chose to propose tonight because regardless of what his mom says, I want him to know that I love him so much. And to make sure that I'm a priority and to make sure that he loves me the most, especially now. I kind of just want to like seal the deal with them before he goes to meet this other woman. I want him to remember this night. Where is ring? <laughs> so you're not proposing because it's the right time. You're proposing just to make sure he knows that you want him and the other woman knows when she sees a ring that he's already taken man. <sighs> proposal all for the wrong reasons. There's no romance behind this proposal idea. But anyway, we continue. It's more like a, a proposal of ownership. I'm proposing to you so you now know that I own you. Mm -hmm. This is some like Andrew Dean type, 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 uh, uh, um, uh, you know, whatever you call it. It's the type of thing that she would do. <laughs> this is why they keep, call keep, keep, keep calling Kimberly the new Andrew Dean or, or Andrew Dean's new replacement, allegedly. But let's continue. Hi, babe. Babe? Come in here. Oh, are you playing game? What the f wait? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Babe. Hi. What's going on here? Come in here and have a seat. I did this all myself. Hi. This is so impressive. Do you love it? Yes, I do. What do you think this is for? I don't need this for me. Okay, give me your hand. This? No, just give me your hand. So you know I love you, right? I know I'm probably gonna cry. I know you love me. You know me. how much I love you. I love you too, babe. Uh -huh. Like more than you probably even know. I know you love me. Okay. And we've been through a lot in two years. We've been through a lot. Why are you telling me this? I know. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh -huh. Will you marry me? Babe. <laughs> babe. Regardless of anything that happens, I want you to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man's reaction is, hey, uh, uh hey, uh. <laughs> uh, that reaction was different. Bad gave no, like, <laughs> oh, no, let's see how this plays out. No, I'm always gonna be here. I'm always, I'm not going anywhere. If marrying you is what will make you happy in this life, I'm ready to marry you, tell you. If marrying is what will make you happy in this life, so so you're so you're marrying her for her, so you're gonna marry her for her, but not for you, no? What kind of nonsense is this? I never expected this, and I'll repeat and say yes, 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 yes. Okay, because guess what? You know how I do things. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure. That's what better. <laughs> When Kimberly goes down on her knee, it's not my culture, but like it's beautiful. And she's trying to show me how much she loves me and how she's ready to be with me, regardless of anything that's going to happen. I have to accept it. It's something touching, actually. Mm. 
look at the house, it's taking much time to create a new house. It looks romantic, and I feel loved. Do you think does it look new? Yes. It does look pretty new, huh? Yes. Do you love it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, I've never had this, and this was made by the woman that I love. Did you suspect I was going to propose at all? I never thought that you're going to propose to me, because I never see any way, way or listen Listen, ain't nobody surprised. I know I'm not surprised. If you're surprised, then I don't know what show you've been watching, ladies and gentlemen, but I am not surprised. Far from it. Movie. And even the movie is so crazy for you to see a woman proposing to man. This is crazy, like... Ooh! <laughs> I love it. I love you. Yeah. I know, like, we don't have your mom's blessing all the way yet, mm -hmm. but I felt like we're so strong together. You know that. But you know, like, I don't want to be the second... So basically, in a nutshell, she's trying to go behind your mom's back by proposing to you nice and early, so therefore your mom has less of a say. The idea is if you're now already engaged to her, then there's no way you can actually have a, another wife that can be your first wife. She can only be the second wife because you're always engaged to Kimberly first. This scheme, she thinks she's smart, just not as smart as me. <laughs> I'm onto you, Kimberly. <laughs> nice move. Like a wife. Like, I want to be the first wife. But, like, I need you to really work your charm. And, and make me the first wife. Seriously. Okay. Let's try. For me tonight, this is wonderful. This is something I will never forget in my life. But I still have to get a blessing from my mom. And I still need to meet the woman that she wants me to date and see if she will change her mind. So, I'm still scared of what mom is going to say, but we just have to work out and see what will happen. I don't know. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy when two scammers are dating each other. It's a matter of which scammer is going to be smarter than the other. He's a scammer. You know what I mean? She's a scammer because this whole marriage is a scam. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, the way he allegedly doesn't see what's happening here is quite interesting. But okay, whatever. Let's continue. This whole thing is just crazy. I just proposed last night. And like last night was so beautiful and everything. And then now it's just like. I have to swallow this hurt, this anger, and just go along with it. But I ain't happy. I'm not a happy camper at all. And he knows that too. Oh well, cry me a freaking ri river. Get get out the violins, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I've already made so many sacrifices for this relationship. Like I'm being okay with you marrying a second wife. Like a lot of American women aren't gonna put up with that. <laughs> I'm doing things that are out of my element, out of respect for him. So it hurts my feelings that he's not fighting about me being the first wife right now. I feel like I'm just here on my own in this open battlefield. So, I'm calling my son Jamal because I want a sense of home right now and also to tell him that I proposed to Usman last night. I'm really nervous to have this conversation because I know he's not going to be happy about that at all. Hi. Hello. I'm so happy. I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm happy to see somebody from home. Actually, I think I'm about to cry, honestly. I feel really alone here. Like, I'm sad because I miss you. I miss Grandma. Jamal and I are extremely close, and he has a lot of influence in my relationship. Jamal's always my little silent cheerleader, and even though he shows a lot of like, oh, mom, what the hell are you doing? Jamal supports me. I don't think Jamal supports you. Not the way you think he does anyway. Well, very delusional thing to say if you ask me, but who am I? Not, well, now we are, but I mean, we weren't. It's, it's been drama ever since I've been here. It's been rough, very rough. What's going on? Just like, um, I went, you know, I met his family. You have to meet with the mother and the, the oldest siblings to get the approval, to get their blessing. There was nothing. They didn't hear anything. It was like a wall, like a cement wall I couldn't break through, you know? And it hurt my heart so much. There's a woman here that... Do you know what I find so interesting in this world? How people can raise their children so well, but they can't raise themselves well. Process that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His mother wants Usman to meet today to have children with... Like, it'll be like an arranged thing. So he's going, he's going to go meet up. What the f oh, I'm sorry. I don't like it, but this is, I can't, what can I say? Okay, blood lines. I mean, this is their culture, Jamal. This is their culture, it's not mine. I don't even know how you feel comfortable with that, especially seeing how things work out with my dad. But it's his culture, though. It's different. She said, I still want him to have a child with um, somebody from his region before he can marry me. But she accepted me. How does that make you feel? I don't want to be the second wife. There's no point in that, you know? So... What's the point of being a first wife? Because I love him. And we have a plan. And I told you this in San Diego. That, you know, I was to come here. We would get engaged after we got the blessing. And then I would start, like, the K-1 visa paperwork to get him there. But are you going to be on set just for that? Yes. It's very disappointing. It sounds like nothing was through. I, th I thought it through. Okay, which I was planned. So, um... You know, I 
taught all that stuff to like the engagement stuff. You know, I bought banners and streamers. I'm gonna send you that video. I bought rose petals. I decorated the whole living room. And I did it and I proposed. Jamal's reaction is golden. <laughs> oh, man can't even look at it. He's just rubbing his eyes and everything. He's like, oh, good dear Lord. This is my mother. <laughs> He's just sitting there like, what fuck? Like, why? <laughs> and I actually got down on one knee and proposed, and he said yes. Hi. Yeah, I can see by your face you're not you're not too happy with me. I'm sorry. What was the whole point of you even going over there? You said that you were going for their lesson. You didn't even get their lesson. Not yet. So did you tell his mom that you were going to ask him to marry you? No. You did that behind her back. No, it wasn't behind her back. Because I asked him, to, I asked him, I said, like, are you going to tell your mom about this? He's like, she wouldn't understand. But he's wearing the ring that I gave him. You said that he doesn't disobey his mom, but he said yes to your proposal. So to me, it sounds like he's perfectly fine with deceiving his mom um, and disobeying her. Good point. Which means he would do that to you in a heartbeat. It's a good point. Jamal's a smart dude. Ooh! Damn, he hit the nail on the head different with that one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I felt that statement when he came through as well. Yo, Jamal's onto it. He's onto it. I like this guy. The way he's hit the nail on the head. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. But now he's giving Kimberly more fuel to just go even more crazy. Good on. Well, well done, Jamal. You just made your mom even more crazy now. Yeah. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> But no, that's a very good point. Dude, because that was very, very smart. It made me think, like, wow, it's deceiving. It's, it's, it's deceiving. I would hope that Usman is the man I think he is. I so now she's going to use this to her own advantage to get him to basically deceive his, his own mother and family. Jamal. <laughs> if you're looking to break them up, this is exactly how you do it. <laughs> because you know Usman is not going to deceive his family. I, I hope and pray that. Because if I find out that Usman's lying to me about making me the first wife, there is no more hope. You're making a lot of impulsive decisions with this guy. And, I don't know. I just feel like you're really not thinking. Don't, like, don't get married while you're there. There's just not enough time, in my opinion, to be making that decision already. I don't know. Well, that is that for Usman and Kimberly in this, well, in, in the most recent episode of Happily Ever After, Season 7, Episode 11. Um, listen, all I can say is that Jamal hit the nail on the head and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen in the next, next, next episode because Kimberly's definitely going to use this information to her advantage because that's what she does. So I'm looking forward to it, to be honest with you. The drama, the drama, the drama. It never stops. But hey guys, please make sure you don't forget to like, subscribe and also remember more reactions to Nightly Fiance on Retro Madness. Peace.